Imagine walking into a tech store and seeing the latest smartphones with bold labels screaming 5G. It's everywhere, but do you actually need a 5G smartphone right now? In this video, I'll explain 5G to you, talk about the coverage, and if you need such smartphones. And also, I'll give you a piece of advice to help you choose between 4G smartphones and 5G devices. And so, without taking much of your time, yo guys, let's get started. So, what is 5G? 5G, or the fifth generation of mobile networks, is a major upgrade from 4G. It offers much faster speeds, lower latency, and can connect to many devices at once. While 4G mainly improved internet speeds on smartphones, 5G opens up new possibilities like Internet of Things, smart cities, self-driving cars, advanced augmented reality, which is AR, and virtual reality, VR. One of the standout features of 5G is its speed which can be up to 20 times faster than 4G. For example, if downloading a movie on 4G is like waiting 10 minutes, with 5G, that can be done in a few seconds. Now, latency on 5G, which is the time it takes for data to travel from one point to another, can be as low as 1 millisecond with 5G, compared to 30 to 50 milliseconds on 4G. This is crucial for real-time applications like gaming, professional settings like video conferencing, and technologies like autonomous vehicles and remote surgeries. 5G also supports a much higher number of devices compared to 4G. This is important as the number of connected devices continues to grow. So think of 4G like a regular highway and 5G like a super fast expressway. On the 4G highway, you can drive at decent speeds, but you still might hit some traffic jams because of the number of cars you get on the way, which in this case is the number of devices connected. With 5G, it's like driving on an expressway with more lanes so you can go much faster and rarely get stuck in traffic. Also with 5G, thousands of devices can operate simultaneously within a small area without overwhelming the network. This is essential for developing smart cities where interconnected devices manage traffic, reduce energy consumption and enhance public safety, and also improve overall urban living conditions. Additionally, 5G offers better reliability with more consistent connections and steady data speeds, even in crowded areas. It is also more energy efficient, meaning devices connected to 5G networks can have longer battery life. And this is due to more efficient data processing and transmission. Now we have an overview of what 5G is about. Let's discuss 5G availability and coverage before deciding if it's worth buying a 5G smartphone right now. Stay with me. The current state of 5G availability and coverage in different parts of the world play a major role in this decision. In countries like the United States, South Korea, and China, the 5G rollout has been rapid and extensive. Major cities in these countries are already experiencing real benefits from 5G technology. For instance, South Korea is using 5G for smart city initiatives, including real-time traffic management and remote-controlled machinery manufacturing. In the United States, 5G supports high-definition streaming and gaming, providing a seamless user experience. So if you live in a developed country, especially in a major city, a 5G smartphone could enhance your mobile broadband services and improve your daily life if you use services that require those. In remote villages and poorer communities, rolling out 5G is challenging due to existing infrastructural limitations and high costs. Building new 5G networks from scratch is a massive task involving laying down cables and setting up you know, the stars, which are expensive, especially in sparsely populated areas. Therefore, you're not going to see much 5G infrastructure here. And buying a 5G device might not have that practical use if you're staying in these areas for a while. So with that out of the way, I'm going to answer the question, do you really need a 5G smartphone? So when considering whether you need a 5G smartphone, Weigh the potential benefits against the cost and your personal usage patterns. If gaming is a big part of your smartphone experience, upgrading to a 5G smartphone could be a game changer, pun intended. The low latency and high speeds of 5G networks ensure smoother gameplays and more responsive controls. Now, for those who frequently stream high-definition videos, 5G offers faster download speeds and reduced buffering, resulting in seamless playback and higher quality video content. For remote workers, 5G's low latency and high bandwidth make it ideal for video conferencing, 
file sharing and accessing cloud-based applications. With a 5G smartphone, you can participate in virtual meetings with confidence, knowing that your connection is stable and responsive. For the average user, on the other hand, the differences between 4G and 5G may not be very obvious in everyday use. Many popular applications and services run smoothly on 4G networks, and the coverage of 5G, even in developed regions, can be inconsistent. As a result, the average user may not see a significant advantage with these 5G smartphones yet. By the way, do you use your phone mainly for gaming or streaming? Drop a comment below and let me know how important fast internet is to you. Now let's talk about the cost of owning a 5G smartphone. 5G smartphones come with a premium price tag compared to the 4G counterparts. While the price difference is getting smaller, switching to 5G is still a significant expense for many. Prices for 5G smartphones can range from around $300 for entry-level models to over $1,000 for high-end devices. Many carriers or networks also charge a premium for 5G plans, adding to the monthly expense. Another factor to consider would be the value proposition for 4G smartphones. In the budget segment, you can often find cheaper 4G smartphones that still offer excellent performance. And for the same price as a basic 5G smartphone, you might be able to get a 4G smartphone with a better camera, a more powerful processor, or even other premium-like features. This means you don't have to compromise on quality or performance if you choose the 4G devices. Now, here's my practical advice if you want to make a decision in buying these devices that are 5G smartphones. One, you should check if your area has good 5G coverage. Otherwise, are there plans in place for your area to get 5G in the nearest future? Secondly, you should think about how often you really need that extra speed and low latency. Are you a gamer? Does it justify the extra cost for your smartphone? Could that money go into buying a better and faster smartphone in terms of processing power, but being 4G, or would you rather get a slower 5G smartphone? And thirdly, is future-proofing important to you? If you don't change your phones often, investing in a 5G smartphone can be a smart move or future-proofing. These are some of the points I would say you should consider before taking the leap. So, the choice is yours. The decision to upgrade to a 5G smartphone boils down to your personal needs, your habits, and your budget. If you live in an area with strong 5G coverage and you are a heavy data user, the benefits are quite clear. For others, sticking to a reliable 4G smartphone might be the smarter choice. And also you save money in that regard. So you have to evaluate your needs, consider the cost, and make an informed decision. So let me know what you decide in the comment section below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel if you're new here for more tech insights. By the way, YouTube thinks you'd love this video. Kawida Day.